Hi, this is Jill from Simple Daily Recipes. I know, another brownie video. What is up? Okay, here's what's up. The dark brownies that video that I posted um, not too long ago is really good. It's a very cakey brownie, but it is nowhere near the deep fudge loveliness that this recipe has to offer. Oh my word, my word, my word. You are going to want to marry me after you make this recipe and you take a bite. Oh my gosh. I mean, if you like a brownie that like melts in your mouth, you don't even have to chew it. You just put it in your mouth and it just dissolves right there and you have to just you know the only way that it will really leave your mouth is if you drink a glass of uh, milk or non-dairy milk of course uh oh baby this is your recipe i mean it's absolutely ah, awesome okay uh get out your pen and paper you're gonna have to write down the ingredients because i'm lazy and uh i've already made the video i I baked this recipe over and over again to make sure that it was really going to turn out the same way every time. I have done my part. This is your part. Fair? Okay, good. All right. Um, okay, let's start off by heating the oven to 350 degrees and getting out a large bowl. And we're going to start with two tablespoons of flat, ground flaxseed, a fourth cup of water, plus two tablespoons of water. And you're going to mix the water and the flaxseed together and let them get gelatinous. To that, you're going to add three-fourths cup of your favorite uh, sugar, evaporated cane sugar or whatever. Here's the secret ingredient. This is what makes the brownies so awesome. Silken, yo uh, silken tofu. Oh, yeah, and you just need a half a cup, okay? To that, um, that's probably one and a half cups of vanilla, a fourth teaspoon of salt. What else did I just put in there? That's it. And then we mix that together. Whisk away, whisk away, whisk away. Okay. What did I do next? All right. That's what it looks like. Just whisk until it looks like that. Okay. Now for the flour. Two thirds cup of flour. I used whole wheat pastry flour. A half a cup of cocoa powder. Just the, you know, the regular old cocoa powder. And a uh, half a teaspoon of baking powder. I like aluminum-free baking powder because I don't want aluminum in my brain. Okay, and then, you I didn't measure this. This is like a handful of non-dairy uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then mix that together. Mix it, baby. It's so good. It gets a little powder and you think, oh no, I don't think I have enough moisture. I don't think it's going to do anything. And uh, here, I'm going to make it really bright. Woo! So you can see just how bright and dry uh, my mix is. I wanted you to see this so you won't freak out. It does look dry in the beginning, but you have to work it. I didn't edit this. I wanted you to see that you really have to work this batter. But it will become shiny and moist and everything will work out fine. Okay, to a little 8x8 glass dish. I just kind of greased up my, uh, my favorite little basting um, brush and I greased the baking pan. This is the only oil. This is it. Because I'm dealing with glass and this was the only glass dish, that, or this was the only dish that I had for brownies available, I went ahead and used my glass dish and I greased it because I get scared that things are going to get stuck. I admit it. <laughs> oh, look at that. That almost looks a little gross, doesn't it? But it's, I mean, it can look gross or it can look decadent. It just depends on what your mood is, really. I'm going to choose decadent. I could just eat that right there. Just, oh, man. And I even saved myself. Be sure to save a little bit in the bowl for you to taste later. Because, you know, we're not, we don't have any eggs here. There's nothing scary to, you know, there's nothing to be afraid of when you're cooking uh, plant-based like this, you know, there's, you don't have cooties to worry about. So you can lick the bowl and you can lick the spoon. There you go. I'm making those. Waste not, want not. There you go. Now that side, that goes to the chef. You've got to make sure that the cook, you know, knows what everything tastes like. That's right. And there, here I am cleaning the dishes. Got to make sure that everything is uh, on the up and up and clean up while everything's in the oven. 
Okay, I popped it into the oven for 20 minutes. And here's my, here's what I do. I cook it, I bake it for 20 minutes, and then I turn off the oven and I let it sit in there for five. And then I take it out, look, and I just let it cool. And I let it cool, and I let it cool for like an hour. I let it get completely cool, and it just, it gets really dense, and that baby is so fudgy. It is the best thing. It's the best thing you have, you'll ever have put in your mouth, I promise. It, look at it, it's fudgy, and it doesn't get, it doesn't get too uh, dry. It never gets dry. Never, never gets dry. It's absolutely awesome. I wish I had left, like, left more footage there. Okay. Anyways, there you go. The best, but my best fudgy brownies that I have ever made. I am so proud of me. And I want you to make this recipe. And I want you to go and be proud of you and share with your family or not. Or just eat the whole thing because it's only an 8 by 8 pan. You know, you could, you could, you know, nurse it out and stretch it for the week and, you know, enjoy brownies for a week your birthday week something special you don't want to eat these every day for like the rest of your life i'm not saying that i'm not advocating that at all but if you do have something you know special to celebrate then these brownies are your friend <laughs> okay i'm gonna let y'all go have fun with this recipe and uh, let me know what you think Misty, Simeon, if you're going to make this, I want to hear about it. Okay, y'all have fun. Bye.